Hello. When we're filming in the house or in the workshop, we need to increase the light intensity just to make it easier to see what we're doing. And in the past, I've used this homemade studio light, which is a plastic garden planter screwed to a wooden support with a bulb in it. Dead simple, and it's worked. I put a reflective lining inside it, and it worked very nicely, except the colour of the bulb was too yellow. Recently we've been doing a lot of food photography. I've purchased two other bulbs which are daylight bulbs and they give a much bluer light and it actually gives a more realistic colour to the food that we want to photograph. And also for the animation project that we're just going to start we do need more positionable lights. To that end uh, for the animation I want to be able to have much better lighting, much more focused lighting and for that I'm going to use two independently adjustable lights that will give a much better focusing on the subject. I'm going to make some new knobs for the light uh, and for that I'm going to use a pallet block for each one but I'm going to turn it in the lathe so I'm just going to rough it out before I put it in to turn it. That'll be okay. Well it's a very wet afternoon, early evening here in Normandy and I've got the lights set up in front of me. First of all, before they're turned on, I'm standing by the window, I'm just going to hold up this bowl of fruit, isn't that exciting? And now I'm going to put the lights on, we'll let them warm up and we'll see what sort of improvement they make to the image. So. 
They're not quite warm yet, but let's just hold these up again. I'll try and do a colour comparison. And all the while these lights are getting brighter. They take about half a minute to get warm enough. Right, and this is our original studio light. And compare it with the fruit and me. I'm happy with the colour I'm getting from these lights, but I do want to have more directional control over them. So with that in mind, I'm going to make two reflectors for the lights and I'm going to use a little plastic bowl and I'm going to make the shades out of paper mache. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the lights independently movable, adjustable. So I've already cut two arms to hold these, ball, these lights and these I can move any orientation I wish. So that's the next stage of the operation. <laughs> 